one's irreplaceable. Not movie stars or queens or heads of state. So move over, Brooke, because I will rip your ruby red claws out of Pierce. Hello? Who's there? Brooke, you're busy? Janet. I'm sorry I should have called. I was so upset, I couldn't even dial the phone. I didn't know where else to come. I thought of maybe going to a church, but what's the point? I mean, you light a candle, you talk to God, he doesn't talk back. What's wrong? You have to ask. Brooke, I owe you for pleading my case to your aunt. I mean, at least I've got a roof over my head. I couldn't bear to lose my lover and my home at the same time. How will I ever be able to thank you? Janet, you don't have to thank me. You saved my son. My life would be over now if it weren't for you. Well, easy come, easy go. I had a love. A real love for the first time in my life. And now he's gone and I don't know why. I feel like my heart is being pulled out of my chest like I'm being punished for something, but what? Brooke, can you help me? What do you want me to do? Why did Pierce leave me? Didn't he tell you? Nothing that made any sense. He said something about moving on, needing space. But there must be more. What did he say to you? Nothing. No, he just said he was moving out. Well, didn't you ask why? It wasn't my place. Well, if you'd stayed in your place, I wouldn't be here. I mean, I, I, I would be checking back into the homeless shelter. I'd be out on the street, Brooke. Pierce loved me once. With all my faults, I didn't change. What changed, Brooke? Why did he change? I don't know. Maybe Pierce just needed... Sometimes relationships... Janet, I really begin to tell you what you could find out. Pierce trusts you. You're his friend. You could ask him. Why don't you ask him? Because he's holding back. There's something he doesn't want me to know. Maybe he's trying to protect me. I don't know. But how can I fight for something I can't see? Fight? What do you mean, fight? By changing what's wrong. I mean, I could laugh more. I could... I could dress up more. I I could take classes, I could do something, I could change whatever needs to be changed, I'll become whatever he wants. Janet, you are who you are. I'm very adaptable, Brooke. More adaptable than you'd believe. But I need you to find out what's missing for Pierce. Janet, that's not gonna work. You already know, don't you? Go ahead, say it. It's because of what happened during the trial. Yeah, I think the trial was very stressful for him. I do. It was not exactly a high point for me. I acted out in very unladylike ways. I got very paranoid. I... Pierce saw the witchy side of me. That's it, isn't it? That's what turned him off. Can't you just explain to him that I was under a lot of stress, too? That I have good qualities. That I'm loyal. That I love children. I love Pierce. Love isn't something you just throw away. It's a precious thing. Tell Pierce I can make him happy. I can't. I'm sorry, I just can't. Brooke, without your support, I don't have a prayer. Janet, you know, the worst is over for you. I mean, you're on your way up. You're free. I mean, you, you can, you can... Start a new life. I want my old life with Pierce. 
Well, maybe the two of you will get back together. I mean, who knows? You know, maybe when he sorts things out, maybe... Maybe you'll find somebody new. You know, life... sometimes has a way of working out for the best. You know, it... It isn't the end of the world, obviously. I mean, people break up and it... And... You'll get over it, and life will go on. So you won't help me? Pierce is a grown man, Janet. If he's made up his mind, there's nothing that I can say. Besides, Janet, if Pierce were living with you, he couldn't make love to me. And he adores me. I'm a magnet for male desire. Some people have it, some people don't. I do. And you, well, whoever said that life was fair. You know, you think that Pierce maybe is holding out on you, maybe he just doesn't know what's going on in his own mind. You know, people have emotions and they... feelings and... Hello? Oh, Adam. No, no, I didn't forget about dinner tonight, 8 o'clock. Right. <laughs> no, come on, back to back. Dinners are bad for the figure. You can't book me up every night. You have me for tomorrow night. I know. Me too. Okay. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Excuse me. What I wouldn't give for a man who never wanted to be away from me. Why don't you put Adam out of his misery and marry him? Who are you holding out for? Richard Gere? I'm not holding out for him. You want to end up alone, Brooke? It could happen, you know. You can't even count on the good guys anymore. One minute they want you, the next minute they want space. I'm sorry. It's emotional today. I'm, I'm all over the place. But who am I to give you advice? I mean, your life is a triumph. My life is a disaster. It's just men. They change their minds no, Janet, so quickly. I'm so sorry. The time got away from me. I have to pick up Jamie Excuse at me, a Brooke, play Excuse me, Brooke. Could I use your bathroom? Where is it? It's the, the door next to the fireplace. A lock of hair. That's what you came for. A lock of hair. Not a confrontation. So why don't you just get a hold of yourself? You've got a long way to go, and you're never going to make it like this. Just focus. Focus, focus. See what happens when you focus? Things fall into place. Pierce, you got it. Easy as one, two, three. Hi, I'm not here right now. Please leave a message at Speed. Hi, it's, it's me, Pierce. I'm at the gallery in residence in the back room. 555-0199. Uh, not that you have to call or anything. 